I got it. All right. So there's nothing that I can multiply times 4 to get 3, and nothing I can multiply times 3 to get the opposite of 4. There's nothing I can multiply times 2 to get the opposite of negative 1. But there is something I can multiply times negative 1 to get the opposite of 2. So if I multiply this one times 2, I get 2 times 3 is 6x. 2 times negative 1 is a negative 2y. And 2 times negative 8 is a negative 16. Now, 6x and 4x is 10x. Negative 2y and a positive 2y cancel out. Negative 16 and 6 is a negative 10. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 10. And x is a negative 1. Raise your hand if that's what you got. Great job. That's pretty impressive. 